This being one of my first videos, I wanted to start somewhere small. The pandemic. Now there's only one way to stay completely safe, and that's with one of these. It's an Avon FM12 gas mask, the most stereotypical gas mask ever designed. If you live in the States, these can be kinda hard to get, but in Europe, depending on where you live, they can be quite affordable in the second-hand market. That's a drinking straw, which is what this video revolves around. One of the theory it's useful, it has its own limitations. You can only use it with certain canteens, and they can be kinda tricky to get sometimes. You can always get one of these, so today I'll try to make an adapter so you can use regular plastic bottles with this type of gas mask, so you can just take a sip of that being exposed to the coof. Now this is the designing part. If you want to skip this and head straight to testing, just go to the 7 minute mark. I already have a working bottle cap ready for my future project, so I'll just reuse it. The software I'm using to design is called SolidWorks. It's kind of an industry standard as you can make almost everything you want with it. All I have to do is add a part that fits the connector and it has to push down the rubber seal while still allowing water through. It would be safe to use in the case of poison gas, but luckily that isn't a problem we have all that often. Now for regular use in pandemics it should work just fine. For the slicing I'm using Cura, as it happens to work well with my 3D printer.
And this is the final product. A small part of the cap did fall off, but it should still be watertight. Now we connect it to the mask like this. And then you screw it onto a bottle. Let's see if this works. Now there's the other side of the drinking tube. And there's water flow, that's a success. Also comes off just fine. A possible improvement might be working a bit on the tolerances, but for first prototype, it does work pretty good. I do plan on making more content like this in the future, so if you do like it, please like and subscribe. And now for the final test. In the coming future, the focus of the channel will be mostly this, just designing weird stuff and making it. And also a bit of gaming just for fun. Now if there's something small you want designed, just put it in the comments.